Can you guys hear me? Okay, I don't know what my, hold on, my thing is not. Good morning. It's not showing like the right, like live on my iPad. Good morning, everyone. So um, give me a second, cause it's not showing. Okay, I think I got it. Ah! Hola, buenos dias. Nope, that doesn't work. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, got it. Good morning. So I have a bunch of tutus that I have to make. So I thought I would go live. Hola, Erika. My, my chat is like so delayed. I don't know why. So good morning, everyone. If I didn't catch your name or if your name hasn't popped up, sorry. So this is how many tutus I gotta make. And that's not even everything. I still have a bunch more, but um, I'm gonna try and see how many I can get done while alive. Um, I do wanna start off with some in particular, just because they have to go out um today if not um tomorrow i think like seven have to go out so i do put them like this just so that i know like what i gotta do what ribbon i have to use so i'll add like the little shipping paper and then just with the colors and then I just kind of know what ribbon goes with what. Hola Jenny, Lisbeth, Jolie, Sarah, howdy. Do you guys want me to put like the camera more lower so you can see like the actual sewing? Okay, so uh, get them to two done here. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot. I have more. I have a few shirts um orders, but most of them are the. I probably have like three shirts that have to be done, but everything else is just um, tutus. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna do a watermelon one. I'm gonna start with the watermelon. Um, I did have to cut this tool separately because I ran out of pink 
So hopefully it doesn't make that much of a difference when everything's together. This one's lighter than this one, but I don't want to sacrifice the fullness of the tutu just for like two yards. So I'm still going to add them in there. Hopefully they don't, they can't tell. So for this one, I need my green and I need um, bubblegum pink. And these ribbons are from Kids Custom Designs. Thank you, Michelle. This one actually has um, seeds in it. So it's gonna have like seeds all over. I already have them like pre-cut right here. So I start off with the ribbon that's gonna go on the bottom, which is the pink. So I'll add the pink first and then over top of that goes the green. Thank you, Megan. Why don't you add the tutu? Start making them already. So I just drop that down. Add the other yards in there. Who knows how many I'm going to be able to get out because is it too loud does it sound loud side is done. So cut that. And then heat seal. And that's one side. And then I flip it and then the satin goes on top and then I drop that and then oh, next is the green. I do keep the thread um, white. I don't change it. It's too time consuming. Hey Liz, good morning Joanne, 
Okay, let me keep going or I'm not gonna finish this. The beginning part is always the part that is the slowest and then once I get it going, it's going. It's crazy, like on the phone, it's cutting off my head and then on the iPad, it's like a full view of everything. Did you guys tell me if it was too loud, the machine, the bajuki? On the on the iPad is showing like the my whole head, but on the phone it doesn't. Yes, I do cut the tool like last night. I was up to like 10 um, cutting tool. So I don't know if you saw it. This is all the tool I cut yesterday. These are all orders, um, two, two orders. And then I still have like, I don't know, another 30 maybe that I have to cut. But this is as much as I cut last night. And I'm going to try to get as many out as I possibly can. Um, but yeah, uh, I do cut it before I sit down because then, I mean, once you sit down and you're already like cutting, I mean, sewing and going at it is better, you know, just to keep grabbing the next one, the next one, the next one, rather than, you know, stop and then get up, go cut. And I end up getting distracted. I'm supposed to go cut and then I get distracted with a message or I get distracted with whatever and then I don't sit back down to make the next tutu that's why 
I'd rather just cut them and then sit down and then just, you know, go through them. And then right now, after this one, I'm not going to touch bows until later on. So I'll finish this one, put it in the elastic, and then uh, put it to the side and then add the bow later on. Crochet that I tried crochet and that that stuff is hard. put you guys closer i can't i can't read the comments mm. okay yeah doing anything for valentine's day with the family we never do anything never honestly it's just another day uh well no we do go out to eat um but you know usually like last year valentine's day happened when that arctic blast happened with the when everything froze here in texas so we had to postpone it and we went out um like a week later to a really nice restaurant but we usually always like to go out for a crawfish for valentine's day But that's pretty much it. Or my husband will make um, steaks outside or something like that. This is probably the, the, the part that takes the longest because I have to make sure to even out the ribbon at the bottom. And then I'm gonna show you guys right now what, um, this girl in the group, this lady in the group, she came up with this idea to thread the elastic through the tutu with a stick. And it's freaking genius. It's so fast. Gonna show you guys the shirt that goes with the tattoo. Making cookies with the kids. Um, I don't bake. <laughs> now I have to keep checking that my bobbin doesn't run out because, oh my God, that's so annoying when you're going and going and then there's no bobbin thread at the bottom.
You can't read the comments, they're too far. This one got all twisted at the bottom. I wonder if I can play music or will I get um, shut down? Will I, would that happen? Because I usually, usually when I'm like working, I have the music playing or I have YouTube videos playing. Shit. If you get a copyright strike, you can get a silver play button when you get 100k. If you get a copyright strike, you can't get a. Well, I already got one. I guess I'm not getting one. They already, um, they demonetized one of the videos. <sighs> Be careful of what you start costing. It cost me a fortune in books because we sent them copy and I'm not sure about that. My cousin is visiting from Arizona. I wish I had my family close to me. Okay. This is the new way that I've been threading the tutus and it's so much faster. So you need your elastic, you need a stick, and then you need a pen top or a marker top or whatever. And then I put this in here and then I stick the pen right in there. Like I shove it in there. And then I just thread it in there. And then I make sure I secure the end so it doesn't come off. Put the safety pin. guys over here while I thread. I want to know about the sticky thing, the stick thing. 
it's just much faster because it threads it. You can just push so much tool through the elastic at once. And just pull it through and then, uh oh, hold on. My, I forgot about the other piece of tool that I had. Rewind. Okay. This, it, it's fast when you have like one color um, tool, when you're just working with one color. But like with the rainbow ones, it's kind of like the same thing because I have to open each little tool. Um, pocket whatever and then stick the, the, the elastic through there so it's faster when you have uh the like one color of the tool rather than the multiple ones but i have a lot of tutus that are rainbow and multicolored and then just take off the top and then just take off the stick and then you just stitch this these together and that's it super fast hey cindy man when you said that you were gonna move i'm like she's gonna come to houston and you didn't <laughs> Then I stitch it twice when I do the um, elastic. So I do like one stitch right here and then I do another one. So just one time I had a customer say that the um, elastic came undone. And I think it's because I cut these little flaps too close to the thread. So now I do double stitching just to be on the safe side. My husband won't go back to Houston. Why not? I love it here. The rodeo is around the corner. I've been getting a lot of like cowgirl tutus, um, all those like farm theme and cow theme and they're local. So I'm pretty sure it's because of the rodeo. And I've been getting a lot of like cooking teams, um, uh, hoodies, aprons. I have like over here, I have like a, bo a box full of aprons that I have to do for uh, um, cooking teams and stuff. Okay, then I just kind of distribute the tool around the elastic. And Katie, Katie's kind of far from me. For me, it's like an hour. Hola, gracias por enseñarnos. Tengo poco siguiéndote y me gustaría saber si estudiaste diseño gráfico, moda o algo, algo por el estilo. Gracias. Haces creaciones hermosas. Gracias. Um, no, no fue la escuela. Um, YouTube, la escuela de YouTube. Uh, yo empecé a hacer tutus. Yo ni cuando empecé a, 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 a hacer, a coser, um, empecé a coser porque mi bebé iba a cumplir una, un año y yo quería um, comprarle una, un cake smash outfit. Y su team de él de Super Tay era Cookie Monster. Y no hallaba uno que yo, el que yo, yo quería un Royal Blue um, tutu. I mean, <laughs> diaper cover. So, le dije a mi mamá y mi mamá me dijo que yo lo hiciera, pero pues yo no sabía cómo coser. So, mi mamá me enseñó básicamente lo básico de una máquina de coser. Uh, mi mamá cose, mi abuela cosía, la abuela, la mamá de mi, mi abuela cosía, um, y de ahí uh, 
fui a la thrift store, a la, how do you say thrift store? Um, I don't know how to say thrift store. Fui a la tienda donde compras ropa usada y compré un calzoncito que le quedaba a él y lo deshice y lo tracé y lo volví a, lo volví a hacer. So, básicamente lo usé como un patrón y después de ahí um, empecé a hacer muchos porque le empecé a hacer él muchos y, y de ahí uh, me gustó, me gustó coser um, y, y luego tenía muchos y me, me gustó la tela y empecé a comprar mucha tela y después de ahí... Um, Uh, las primas de mi esposo me empezaron a pedir para sus bebés y luego de ahí se fue y luego um, la prima de, de mi esposo tenía una tiene una niña y me dijo pues me haces un tutu en el, al... le dije yo no sé hacer un tutu y pues nada me fui a YouTube y de ahí um, es las las medidas the, the measurements that I use are Pamela's original I don't know if she changed them but um, they were her original measurements de, de Sterling Style, o sea, ella también hace uh, tutus y bordado y de ahí haz de cuenta que como a, ella fue mi maestra básicamente y de ahí me la llevé y de, de ahí ya empecé a hacer otras cosas y luego ya ahora sí ya tengo un negocio que yo ni, <ríe> ni pensaba um, abrir um, ok, so then these are like little uh, hand cut seeds they're not perfect they look some of these look like i saw avocados but they're supposed to be seeds and then they have like the little sticky paper in the back and they are super duper sticky like i stick it and if i try to take it off it kind of wants to rip off the the tool so it's sticky it's not gonna fall off but even though just in case i do put a little dab of the hot glue in it just to be extra safe because I get nervous when with the babies, you know, like they can like yank it off and eat it. I don't know. So I'm gonna, I stick it and then just for extra precaution, I do add like a tiny little dab of hot glue in the back, in the back of the seed. So I just stick them randomly, one low, one high, one low, one high. So one low right there and then I do one high. And I use like about 12 of them. I don't even use that many. See, so I do one low and then one high. Escuela de YouTube. <laughs> La segunda, yes, that's what you call it. Um, la segunda, that's what my, mom, my dad called it. Uh, la thrift store es la tienda de, la, de ropa usada, la segunda. Um, <laughs> we are getting HEB up here. Ellen is getting one. Football stadium. Hopefully we get a Target close to us. They're, op they're opening like a bunch of stores around here. Buenos días. ¿Cuántas yardas? Estas son 12 yardas en este tutu. Lo más largo que hagas el tutu, lo, las más yardas que le tienes que meter para que quede esponjado. Um, yo no ofrezco tutus más grandes de 6 años porque luego lo tienes que hacer muy largo y ya. It kind of, like to me, it kind of defeats the purpose of a tutu if, I mean, I know big girls can wear tutus, but I don't know. I feel like it's more like for little girls. So on my Etsy, I, I, yeah, I only offer up to size six, I think, unless I get, you know, someone messages me and wants a bigger tutu, but I do tell them it's gonna be like a different price. I'm loving hearing the Spanish. Reminds me of my grandmother who taught me to sew. Se me atoró a veces en el español. El español es mi primer lenguaje, pero um, pues casi todo lo que hablo es uh, 
inglés y cuando voy para México me dicen así como que, ay, se te olvidó el español. <ríe> digo, no, pero se me olvida, a veces se me olvidan las palabras. Okay, I'm almost done with this one. This one probably, this is the one that probably is going to take the longest because of the damn seeds, but seeds are fine. Okay, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Okay, I think that's good. I think that's enough seeds. So that's what that looks like. That's the bottom. And then I'm not gonna add the bow just yet because I'm, I'm gonna move on to the next tutu, but that's that. That's one order. I already have the shirt um, embroidered out too. Yeah. This is the shirt that goes with that. And then I still have to make a hair bow to go with that and the bow on the tutu. And then look at this um, shirt that I did, and it was digitized by Sebastian in the embroidery group, if you guys are in it, but he digitized this girl from Encanto. She came out so good. Love it. Okay, next tutu. The next one is a mermaid tutu, but I don't have enough ribbon for that one and the ribbon gets here tomorrow so i'm gonna move on to the next one and then this is the packing slip that goes with the watermelon so then i'm gonna move on to the next one and for those of you that are just here this is how many tutus i gotta make all of these and then i still have more but i didn't cut all of them um, so just looking by the date, I need to make a rainbow one next. This one's needed for February 18. So let's make this one. Yeah, Sebastian does really good. He, uh, that's the only person I use for digitizing. Let's get those likes up, please. You're not liking my video. We don't talk about Bruno. I've only seen it like twice. I haven't seen it that many times. Like, have you guys seen on TikTok? People are like, I've seen it 20 times. I've seen it um, on, I used to have it on repeat at my house. You did that too, too, so fast. You think it was fast? I don't think it was that fast. This one, um, this one's gonna be like a multicolored one, but this one um, is, since it's multicolored, it's not, um, I gotta stop very frequently and it only has one ribbon at the bottom. So I'm gonna, I pretty much just, Fold it since it's just gonna have one ribbon attached. So no need to do the ribbon first and then the channel. So I'm gonna do the channel first and then. Oh yeah, watch that every day. I can I I I like it, but I I like the um, if I watch Luca, I like that one more. The songs, though, the songs are so addicting. <laughs> I've never seen Encanto. It's cute. It's it's really cute. The music. It's what's um, you know, like every time we like when a new Disney movie comes out or whatever, and you know how like they're re remaking, like they, they remade uh, Aladdin, and I'm pretty sure eventually they're gonna make like Pocahontas and like all these Disney movies. And my husband never wants to go watch them because he's like, it's a lot of singing, it's a lot of singing. 
And but this, the, it's crazy how this movie, like, it, there's a lot of singing, but all the songs are so good. Like, they're so catchy. Imagine if they make Pocahontas though, like that, that one has really good music too. You don't like the remakes? I do, I do, I do. Like you get both, you know, you, you get the, the, you know, the one you grew up with and then you get a new one. And I thought they were gonna make The Little Mermaid too, and they never did it. I think that's like when the whole pandemic happened. I wonder what happened to that. How would you even make a movie like under water? Okay, I'm gonna be quiet for a little bit. Now I have that song stuck in my head. Put this one kind of crooked. Oh. Don't talk about it. And again, I keep the thread white. I don't. I don't change it. And then this is 12 yards uh, also. Ese también son 12 yardas. So, son um, dos, dos y dos. Dos. Son dos rosas, dos moradas, dos anaranjadas, dos azules, dos. Son en total 12 también. Ya si hago los chuchos más grandes, entonces sí le son 14 yardas. Como quiera, si usas 12, se van a ver um, esponjados. Nadie va a abrir el chucho y va, va a decir, a ver, ¿cuántas yardas le metieron? Good morning, Sandra, Sandra, Sandra. I like Luca better too. I like the storyline. Yeah, there's, you know, Liam, like he's not good at sitting down and watching movies, but there's only been, um, let's see, two movies that he's been, like really sits down and just is hypnotized. And that is Shrek. Oh, actually three. Shrek, Luca, and, um, What's that other one called with the little boy that he plays the guitar? Uh, then it's about Dia de los Muertos and he goes to the land of the dead to meet his ancestors. Ah, what's the movie called? Coco, yes. 
that one. He he like we did a whole uh birthday theme when he turned um two. When he turned two, when he turned three. I think he was three. Um yeah, he was he was obsessed. Like we bought him a mariachi hat, we bought him uh we went to Mexico, we got a bunch of like Mexican stuff and it was awesome. We decorated outside. We put like the those little papers, the the little papers with the figures. That's when I bought the silhouette because I wanted to make those papers. Um, I bought it just because of that. Uh, we had uh, we brought a piñata from Mexico. It was the dog, the 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 colorful dog, the alebrije. So yeah, he loved it. It was awesome. It was an awesome birthday. We had tequila. <laughs> it was fun. This, this was all pre-COVID and stuff. So, and then like a lot of people came over. Yeah, it was. It was a lot of fun. And then, so right now, my kids are more into um, all that anime stuff. Papel picado, yeah. That. And then one time we went to Mexico and he, we went to, we always go to this one restaurant that we like. It's right there, like right in right in the center of the plaza, and we love their um, tortas. They have like tortas de carne de cebrada, and oh, that is so good. <laughs> and then they make it like right there in front of you, um, and then they put like a ton of avocado, and it's it's just so good. Anyway, we went there, and he was little, right? So um, we walked in, and they had the papel picado hanging in the in the ceiling, right? It's a Mexican restaurant. And he was like, Coco, Coco, Coco. Like, he, he was so little. Like, he, he he just, like, you know, he remembered. Like, that's, that's from the movie. Okay, see, this one took longer because every color that has to go in there. So it's orange, yellow, green, blue, pink, purple, and then it starts again. Blue, wait. Oh, yeah. Okay. I am missing a color. What is it, the orange? Yellow. Uh, oh, okay. I didn't do it in the same. It's fine. Thinking of having a work lunch with myself so I can write off a burrito. So I can write off a burrito de asada. My boys haven't ever seen Star Wars. We've never, my husband has. My husband watches everything. I've, I've never, I've, he tried to get me to watch them and I fell asleep. Buenos días desde California. Ese tutu no lleva listón. Yo quiero aprender, pero no me animo. Me da miedo. 
¿Qué consejo me das? Um, este sí lleva listón. Todos los que voy a hacer llevan listón. No, no ofrezco los que no tienen listón. Um, nada más haz uno, nada más uh, aviéntate. <ríe> Porque pues, si no lo haces, ¿cómo vas a saber si puedes o no puedes? Y el primero que yo hice no me salió bonito tampoco. O sea, es algo de práctica y de que lo sigas haciendo. Um, ya, yeah, pero si no lo haces, no vas a saber. To heat seal every time I cut, so that's more time consuming. It's like vibrating with the cable going so fast. So this one, I pretty much just put all the layers together and then put the ribbon. Out of all the tutus that I have, out of all the ones with the glitter and with the this and that, this one is the one that sells the most. And it's hella simple. De todos los tutus que hago, este es el, este es el que se me vende más y está bien sencillo de hacer. Está sencillo de hacer, pero sí me tardo un poco más porque tengo que meter cada color. Do you like your juki? Yes. Yes, I do. I love my juki. I had um, changed the oil. Like you have to uh, replace the oil every, I don't know. It depends how often you use it, which I use mine every single day. So I already did the oil change in it. And I was expecting the oil that same day and it didn't come in. So I couldn't use my, my juki because you can't use it without any oil. And I had to wait like two, no, I had to wait like an additional day to get the oil. And I had to, I had to get uh, tutus out. So I pulled out my old sewing machine and it's ridiculous how the difference of how, how fast this is compared to like a regular. And the other one is like, it's just, I, I, I can't explain it to you. It's, it's ridiculous. I felt like a turtle with the other one. And this one is super fast. In the other machine also, and the regular sewing machine that I had, like if I had like multiple layers, there would be times that the machine would get stuck or the needle would break. And this one just goes through anything, through anything. And I love it. I love it. Best investment ever. Once you use, when you use Interstore Yuki, there is no going back. Nope. Yeah, no, it's, it's ridiculous. I would have never thought, and I would, I had, I had been eyeing it for a long time and, uh, 
I was like, but it's just the sewing machine, you know? And it just does um, straight stitch. So there's no zigzag. There's no, like, buttonholes. There's not, none of that. So I was, like, really, like, why would I pay $1,000 for, you know? But, um, yeah, no. Totally worth it. This is the only annoying part, having to heat seal like every little piece that I finish. My alarm keeps going off and I keep thinking that there's someone at the door, but it's because the battery panel is low. How do you know what she's writing? Oh, it says, what, what's this? This is tutu making. We are making a bunch of tutus. So I ran out of bobbin already. And good thing I cut it in time. As if I can afford to be using these bobbins right now. I don't know if you know, but there's the magnetic bobbins are nowhere to be found right now. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I'm almost done with this one. Okay, this is the last layer, last yard. And then we'll string it together. And then the next one, I think I'm gonna do an ice cream one. That one has three ribbons in it. It has two satin and then a glitter one over top. So 
So this is a rainbow, the other one was a watermelon, and then next is ice cream. Oh my God, there's a hundred people in here. I don't think I've ever gotten so many views. Like on a live. Okay, finish. So here's all of the yards. So now we're gonna put it on the elastic. I love your work. Thank you very much. Where were you able to get some from? Yeah, I did get one. Um, I got one box. <laughs> uh, how old is this baby? Two. So I'm gonna make her waist 18 inches because she's two. Yeah, so I got some bobbins on the way and then I still have a box. So I think I should be okay. But you scared me. So I was like, maybe I shouldn't be using, you know, the magnetic ones on the UK because, you know, if I need them. Okay, again, sorry, if you didn't see it. The stick, the elastic, and then a pen top or marker top, whatever. Just make sure that the, it's not rough around the edges or it's gonna get stuck with the tool. And then I just stick it in there. Ah. And then just stick it in there like that. Hola, todas recién me conecto. Cachi, necesitas un aparato para rebobinar. Creo que no pasa. No, la máquina tiene su propio. Cuando estás trabajando, te, um, te, lo, te hace la bobina. En lo que tú estás trabajando, te está. Pero, pues, como yo soy bien floja. <ríe> Y cuando ya está lleno, solo para. Okay, this is why I, this is why I think like ugh, when it comes to the rainbow tutu, this probably the, like it's no, it just might as well use the regular one because I have to insert it into every color, so it kind of defeats the purpose of going fast. But uh, we're already here. Hola, mire que compraste una impresora para sublimar. ¿Qué puedes decir si me la recomiendas? Um, yo todavía estoy jugando con ella. Uh, me, hasta ahorita me, me está gustando mucho. Um, y estoy aprendiendo porque, no, la verdad, no, yo, eso para mí es totalmente nuevo. Yo, de eso de imprimir y. Um, I, I just, I'm not great at that, pero um, estoy aprendiendo, hasta ahorita me está gustando, no he subido nada a mi shop de, de eso, porque quiero, uh, he estado haciendo camisas uh, con la impresora, y las he estado lavando, y viendo a ver qué, cómo, cómo se mantienen en la lavadora, en la secadora, para poder ya ofrecerlas bien, ¿verdad?, porque... No les quiero ofrecer y luego que las metan a la lavadora o a la secadora y se hagan feas. Son más o menos para tener más bien una idea que poner um, en la publicación. Así de que cuando la laves, la, lávala con helado o lávala con caliente o si ¿sí me entiendes. Um, por eso todavía estoy aprendiendo. Pero o sea, no es difícil eso. Nada más metes la, um, la imagen a la a la computadora y la impresora la imprime es lo demás es lo que sigue con con eso de de tener de saber qué recomendaciones darles para si la van a lavar o lo que sea aunque yo pues la mayoría de cosas que ofrezco son camisas de cumpleaños no no son más así camisas de que se usan más seguido I don't even know if I made sense with, with, with everything that I said. 
would you think he would figure out he's on the wrong place and leave huh Do you use a bumpkin to thread the elastic? What is that? The, it, the, it's just a stick. <laughs> it's just a stick in a, in, a, in a top of a pen. But for the multicolored tutus, it's not as fast as if you were doing just a, a tutu that has the same color tool because you would just thread and thread and thread. Right here, I have to open every pocket to stick the new color in. That's why I don't like it for the multicolor tutus. It looks all messy, but we're going to fix it right now. Okay. And actually, the waist looks kind of big to me, so I'm going to snip that off. Let's snip a inch off. Stitch these together. Oh, wow. it took me an hour to make two two twos. That's not that's not very good. Your eyebrows always on point. Thanks. They are microbladed. <laughs> that's why they're always on point. ¿Dónde compras el tul y el listón? El listón lo compro de Kids Custom Designs o um, hay otra website también que uso, se llama uh, Deep Barn Designs. Al final del video pongo el link. Um, pero el que, y también hay otro uh, website que se llama Le Peu Petit, pero esas dos el listón es de una cara de un, o sea no tienen el, el satin de los dos lados nada más de una cara y Kids Custom Designs tiene los dos que es el que me gusta pero los también los otros sirven igual salen los tutus uh, bonitos y el tool lo compro de Gibbs International uh, mucha gente no le gusta esa website y ya sé por qué a mí Siempre que ordeno tool, a mí me llega toda mi orden y me llega bien y todo. Ha habido gente que me dice que no les llega su orden o que les llega las cosas mal. Yo nunca he tenido problemas hasta ayer que orden tool, no, no. Pero ordené el listón de ahí. De 12 listones que compré, me llegó uno nada más. Que porque los otros ya no tenían. Pero me da coraje porque... Estás, espere y espere que te llegue para hacer las órdenes y luego te llega y nada más llegó uno y estaba bien enojada. Les mandé un mensaje, sí te regresan tu dinero, um, pero es disappointing. 
Okay, so here's the second tutorial. Just fix the loops. And then I still have to um, hot glue all the ends together like this so they're not like, you know, you know, you know, you know. And then that's for a two year old. And then that's that. Kids Custom Designs. Que es listón? Ribbon. And good morning, Sandra. Hi, this color yellow reminds me that I need to get a costume for the wiggle show. The wiggles show? No, I don't know what that is. ¿Alguna vez te ha quitado algún diseño Etsy de tu tienda? Me sucedió un caso, pero no sé qué hacer para volver a ponerlo. Si sí, es un, um, uh, un diseño que es uh, copyrighted, si sí te lo van a quitar y si te lo quitaron, ya no lo vuelvas a poner porque te vas a meter en problemas. Um, yo quité todo eso de así caricaturas y eso porque no, no es... No lo debes de estar vendiendo. Um, mucha gente se arriesga y lo hace um, y se, se los quitan y los vuelven a poner. Um, pero ha habido mucha gente y se habla mucho en el grupo de Ángela que uh, mucha gente la han demandado por eso. Um, so, es tu decisión si quieres poner esas cosas. Yo los tenía, los quité. Um, yo me quiero pensar en problemas. <risa> Okay, next. I gotta do that mermaid one, but I don't know how to do it. I'm gonna do the ice cream one. I'm gonna do the ice cream one. Where are you? Actually, I'm gonna do this one. This is a custom order that I have to do, and I'm gonna do it because it has the same color ribbon. I mean, the same color tool, so it should be pretty quick. And this one has three ribbons, so it's gonna have two ones all pink like she wants everything pink but she wants different shades of pink so i'm gonna use that i'm gonna use hold on let me go look at the picture real quick again because it's a custom order and she did send me a picture of what she wanted it's a tutu that i already offer in my website but Fuchsia light pink and then fuchsia light pink and then the hot pink. Fuchsia light pink, hot pink. Fuchsia light pink and then that one. Okay. Okay, see, for example, this one, this ribbon right here is just one sided. So this is matte right here and then it has the shiny side over here. Okay. Oh, I need to put the papers with the the order paper with the tutus. Okay, so then this one again I had to cut my ribbon in two because I didn't have enough. And how old is she? How old is she? One. She was turning one years old. And again, this is 12 yards. También son 12 yardas aquí. Hi, Dolby Creative Corner. So, changing the subject, I want to dye my hair. <laughs> I've never dyed my hair, but I don't know. I'm too scared to go, like, super light. And 
then recreating it. But I don't know. I don't know what color. I don't know if this could do like the same. Like I've never dyed it, so I don't know if I was to go be like, give me the same color. I don't know what to tell them. Like I already have a lot of gray hair, and then my daughter's quinceañera around the corner. So I only have like three more months for the quinceañera, and then. But I'm scared of doing it, not liking it, and then I'm stuck with that. You know. Green. I'm getting my eyebrows microbladed tomorrow and my hair cut and colored. I'm scared. Man, I, best decision with the microblading. I did mines and you never have to touch them ever again. I mean, just to pluck them or whatever, but the best, best decision. The only thing is that now that I want to dye my hair, they're kind of dark, right? So if I go light, what am I going to do about my eyebrows? Like, what do I do? I can't color them lighter, right? Or can I? But they're microbladed, so I don't, I don't know. She told me that they last up to three years. And I don't know. I don't know. I want to color it for the quinceañera, but I can't. I don't know. I'm going to be stuck with that color. How about highlights? I wanted to do the balage, balage, what's it called? Balage? I don't know about hair, okay. <laughs> because supposedly that one, well, maybe I do want my roots, right? Because I have gray hair. But um, someone told me that if I dyed my hair, that it went, when it grew out, it was going to come out darker. Like I was going to lose my hair color. I don't know if that's true or not. Balage, balage, biolage, balage. I don't know. I don't know how to say that. I don't know. And I also want something else, but um, don't judge me. <laughs> confused with the size to cut the tutu for ribbon on both sides uh so for 12 months i cut at 12 months to 2t i cut at 12 inches for sizes 12 months to 2t that will if you're using two ribbons that's going to give you a seven inch tutu if you want to make an eight inch tutu which is three to four T that that's what I tell people I make them if I'm going to make an eight inch to two then I will cut a 14 inches because that's going to give you an eight inch to two because remember that the ribbon adds length to the to the two two so for so just think about it if you want to make a seven inch to two seven and seven is 14 right so you so you would think oh let me cut a 14 but you have to take off two inches because of the ribbon so if you want to make a seven inch tutu then you will cut it at 12. if you want to make an eight inch tutu then you will cut it at 14. if you want to make a nine inch tutu you will cut at 16. if you and like that you go you know depending on how the length that you want to make if you're using two ribbons for the um rainbow one that i did right now I had to make it seven inches, but since I'm only using one ribbon, instead of cutting at 12, I added one more inch because I'm using one ribbon. So that's 
one inch. I'm not using two ribbons to add two inches. So instead of cutting at 12, I cut at 13. So that, that ribbon will give me that extra inch to make it a seven inch to two. Does that make sense? And then the yardage, that's totally up to you. I use 12 yards. If you want to use less, if you want to use more, totally up to you. If you use less, it's going to be less fluffy. If you use more more yards, then you're going to get it more fluffy. If it's that's the, the yardage, it's completely up to you. And it doesn't have to be exactly 12 yards. It could be 13. It could be 13 and a half. It could be a little less, a little more. Like, it's it's not, you know... It's just, and then when you make it and you see it and you're like, man, it's not that fluffy, it would just scoot over the tool and add more. And that, that's it. Do you have a tip on the length of each size? Uh, in, in my videos, I do have a chart of the lengths I use. Um, for 12 to 2T, I do 7. To 3 to 4, I do 8 inches. Um, and then 5 and 6, 9. And then... And then I kind of stop at 6. I don't make them bigger than 6 because then you have to add a lot more material it takes longer and even when you're cutting the tool and you make the bigger sizes usually like if you cut you get another piece from the from the piece that's left over but if you're making the bigger tutus then you don't get that extra piece that's why i don't like offering the big sizes unless they message me that they want it and you know i tell them that the price is going to be different Good morning, dressed by Mia. Uh -oh. Okay, this one is not the ice cream one. This is the this is a this is a cupcake cupcake one. And I, it still has three ribbons though. It has, but she wants all different shades of pink. So it's going to have fuchsia, light pink, and a glitter pink. So on one end, I put one ribbon. And then on the other end, I'm going to put both the glitter and the satin. So that way, and I'm going to stitch them at the same time. I'm not going to stitch them together and then do it i'm gonna you see right now so aquí está un lado and this is con el brillo para arriba and then el que voy a poner acá va a ser she wants this pink and these are from hobby lobby or you can find them on amazon and then she wants like pink and thank you to Angela, she saved my life, sending me some light pink ribbon. <laughs> I use light pink so much. And that's one of the ribbons that I ordered from Gifts International. And it didn't come in. Okay, so here's the light pink and then here's the glitter ribbon, right? So don't get confused because you can easily get confused putting them either if you put it like, like this or if you put, the, put it on the other end. So to not get confused, put it over where it's supposed to go, right? So I want it to go like this. I want it to go like this, right? So then you're going to flip it over like this 
and this is the way it's supposed to be stitched under the tool so the glitter is under on the left side of the pink not on the right side and then i stitch them that way so it's in yeah i do it kind of not not so fast because you have to kind of keep them even So put them under the needle, kind of even them out, kind of, you know, one passing the other one a little bit, and then goes the tool over top of it. Next stitch, and then that's it. And so as I go, I am like kind of with my with my fingers, I am like holding both, see? And I'm trying to keep them, trying to keep them from going sideways or crooked or anything. And then with this finger, I'm just like holding the tool. The only thing with this glitter ribbon, it will shred the, um thread sometimes sometimes not all the time should i leave the camera like that is that better so you can see thank you for all you do i enjoy your videos first time posting on your chat have a great day thank you carmen Thank you for watching me. I wish I could work on orders during the day. I used to be opposite. I used to work at night, but ever since Liam started school, he has to be at the bus stop at six. So I gotta wake up really early. And I can't, I, I can't, like I can even stay up past nine. Because my eyes are literally like closing. So only on the weekends. Only on the weekends I can stay up. El listón de glitter es suave o está tieso? Tieso? What do you mean? Como tieso? Está, um, es lo que yo uso y siempre se ve bien en la, en los tutus es de Hobby Lobby o también en Amazon tienen, there's this one um, page on Amazon that sells it. Yeah, if the kids are home, like I had been wanting to go live for a long time and I had said it that I wanted to go live making tutus, but, but first of all, everybody got sick. <laughs> like if you weren't sick this year, the beginning of this year, I mean, I feel like everybody got sick. Like whoever didn't get sick, you know, um, when the whole COVID happened, like it got all those that didn't get sick, like it got them this this time around. And then also because um, my husband wasn't working, so he was here with me like all day, every day. And I don't know, I get like shy to like record in front of him <laughs> or like, you know. But um, finally, he went back to work already, and so I am home alone, so I can. There's nobody here to judge me.
No, this ribbon is not stiff. Um, see if I can show you. Uh, okay, I'll show you this one. This is the one I'm using. It's not stiff, no está tieso. I mean, cuando está en el tutu, se va a ver. You'll see right now. Vas a ver cuando termine el tutu, cómo se va a ver. You're going to see in the end how it uh, looks. This is the same tutu that at one time I made for a customer and she wanted a refund because she said that the tutu was too full, that it was too much. I mean, I don't understand why, why would you, why would you order it? Like it's literally and clearly in the picture, like super full in the picture of, of this, this listing that I have on my Etsy shop. It's, it's the tutu on the mannequin. And then it's the tutu on the on a baby. So you get to see it on the mannequin and you get to see it on the baby. On an actual baby wearing it. And it's super full. And it's to me it looks super beautiful. Um I honestly can't believe, like I couldn't believe that she wanted a refund because of that. And so I told her, I was like, okay, um I will take the tutu back, but if she didn't wear it you know if i can see that she wore it that it your um party date already passed and you want a refund um, i don't think so so she didn't reply to me after that how are you gonna want a refund after the party and after you already probably wore it Cachi, ya ves que venden listón con el fierro. Oh, 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 no. Um, I have some of that, actually. Dices que si, que si es un listón de los que tienen el, um, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. Dices... Que si es un listón así de estos, mira. No, estos, de estos que traen así, que traen el, el fierrito adentro. Este, si tú no, es, yo no uso este. Este lo compré por emergencia porque una vez se me acabó el verde y fui a comprar este. Um, pero, it should say on here that it's wired. Oh, wow, this one doesn't say it. No, este no dice, pero casi siempre dice si es si tiene wire o no. Pero igual si te si tienes de este se lo puedes sacar, se lo este uh, se lo estiras y se lo sacas. Pero no, ese a mí no me gusta comprarlo. So yo compro de si eh, yo ni uso estos grandes de uno y de uno y medio para glitter, mejor compro los chiquitos y traen más yardas estos y cuestan lo mismo y traen una yarda más y pues los compro cuando están en especial so de cuatro dólares salen en dos dólares y vienen cinco yardas o so con dos puedes hacer un tutu I mean that's what I do Alambre, yes. Should I leave the camera like that? Did I ask you guys that? Like to see the actual work. I don't have Shopify. I don't have... I have Instagram and I sometimes take orders from Instagram, depending what it is. Uh, but I don't have Shopify. Most of my sales are from Etsy. These are all orders that I have to, these are all tutus that I have to make. And then I still have like, I don't know, like 20 plus or more that I didn't get to cut the tool, but they don't have to go out just yet. Most of my orders are from Etsy. I do get orders outside, like from, you know, Mouth of word and like all these all these box over here that I have. 
I have this box right here, and those are all hoodies and aprons that have to, that are for the cooking cooking teams. I was saying earlier how the rodeos are on the corner, and there's like a lot of the cook-offs are gonna happen, and um, I get a lot of cooking teams asking me to put like their logos on aprons and hoodies and stuff like that. Work shirts. I have, I think, I have like five work shirts also. And I, on those, I just put, like, names and stuff. Um, and usually those are, like, my husband is the one that gets those orders. Is anybody else working or is it just me? Like working on, well, I guess any type of work. Al fin haces un live. Yeah, um, no podía hacer un live porque había mucha gente en mi casa. <laughs> And like I've thought about going live, like you know, um, like in the nights or whatever. But with Liam, I can't. Like that boy, like he loves playing outside, and he always wants to go to the front yard. And I get very nervous, like of him trying to run in the street and then get hit by a car or something. So I have to like always keep my eyes on him. Okay. Full time job. I don't know how you do it, Cindy. Like the full time job, and then you get a bunch of orders on Etsy too. Hey, uh, La Belle Petite, put your website for your ribbon. People were asking me about the ribbon. She has a uh, satin ribbon. She has um single faced satin ribbon. And then for double faced is kids custom designs. Me encantan tus videos. ¿En qué parte de Texas vives? Yo vivo en Houston. Vivo en Houston. Houston. Ever since Cindy went to Tennessee and you put your pictures on Facebook, I want to go to Tennessee. It looks so beautiful. Good morning, Mari, Mary, Mary, Mary. The kids are doing virtual school right now. So usually I had to work when they are done, but they have half a day today and I got my orders done last night. So I would just be working on my Etsy listings. Virtual school was horrible <laughs> for me. Like, I have three kids, and it, they have, like, different schedules. Even now that they go to actual school, it's so many, like, they just have, like, totally different schedules. When Liam was doing virtual, and then my other two were doing virtual, when one was taking a break, the other one was in class. When they would give, like, lunch breaks to one, the other one didn't have the lunch break. So it was, like, me in the kitchen, like, all the time. and then. With Liam, um, I had to sit with him so he wasn't like goofing off in the camera. And, yeah. I'm glad they're back at school though. 
And then I can't wait for March because of March. Finally, the soccer season will be over with my daughter. And I don't have to go pick her up anymore from practice up and down all day. Tennessee is amazing. I want to, like, I have heard that it's beautiful, but when you posted your pictures, I was like, oh my God, like, it is beautiful. It looks so pretty. Like, I want to take my parents somewhere. Like, my mom is not really, like, fond of, like, the beach and stuff like that. So, I want to take them somewhere like that, you know. Now we gotta do the channel. I bet you this this one, this picture is gonna look so pretty. And then for this one, I'm gonna have to put it on the mannequin because I don't have a picture. Well, well when I make the shirt, I have to snap pictures. Look how pretty. Okay, here we go. And the Smokies for Thanksgiving. Where, where is that in Tennessee? My alarm keeps making noise. Three hour drive to heaven. Well, my niece, she's going to Tennessee in, I don't know what month. I think it's coming up. She's going for a um, dance competition over there. And I told him, I want to go with y'all. Invite me. <laughs> I change out the thread 
to match the tool and the ribbon but i think i should have saved time keeping i keep you can't see it honestly like if you're using like the pinks and lavenders and stuff like that you can't see it even if look even with the with this one can you see it you can't see it you can't see it uh, i've never had nobody complain over it Ah. My thread keeps oh it's tangled over here the my thread got caught over here with the little hook I feel like it's taking me forever to do this tattoo. And then I'm so in denial that I need glasses and I'll put them on and then I can put the thread and the needle eye. concentrate now. Try to go too fast the thread snaps. Or maybe I need to try needle.
you never been to Puerto Rico, do you have family over there? Okay, and done. Okay, so again with the stick. Man, where's my elastic? And then baby turns one, so I do 17. ¿Qué marca de hilos usas? La bobina es un magnetic, um, magnética que las compro ya vienen um, ya vienen ya vienen ya vienen um, así una caja, compro las cajas y ya vienen así y el, el hilo de arriba es hilo de bordar Es uh, Madeira. I admire your work. It's so cool to see the light. Thank you. Who is dramatic? Lunch time. Wholesale ribbons cheap. I mean, 
I get mine from Angela or Little Petite or BB Crafts or I used to get them from Gibbs International, but not anymore. And they had good prices, but they're always sold out of everything. So I don't even, I'm not ordering from there anymore. ¿Qué diferencia tiene el hilo de bordar al otro? Um, es que siento que el hilo de bordar se rompe menos, aunque ahorita se me estuvo rompiendo, pero <risa> casi nunca tengo problemas con que se rompa. Um, pero también uso el otro, nada más que este, um, es el que tengo ahí, no lo cambié. Um, y este pues vienen en ¿qué? metros de más de 5,000. So, no lo tengo que cambiar tan a menudo. A mí se me hace que el, el de bordar está más fuerte, no sé, a mí se me... Mm. Pero he usado los dos, los dos trabajan bien. Um, pero como esta máquina va mucho más rápido, siento que se me rompe menos el hilo con el de bordar. Ok. So here's the other one. So she wanted all different shades of pink, so. Hey, Anna, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Where do you get your embroidery thread? from allstitch.com. I just ordered though, I ordered embroidery thread from Thread Art. I used to use it on the Brother and I liked it. And I had some left over and I put it on the Rakuma and it worked fine. So I ordered some because I ran out of, um, I'm running out of white and it's $2 cheaper than Madeira. So I did order some a few colors so we'll see how um how well i mean they were working fine when i put it in the recoma so we'll see if everything's still the same again they were like two dollars cheaper so two dollars cheaper and they're here in texas so i should get them pretty quickly And there it is. I'm not adding the bows just yet. So we did this one, we did this one, and we did the watermelon one.
Oh, those pinks look great. Thanks. Thank you, thank you. Long time viewer, first time seeing you live. Qué hermoso te quedó, gracias. Shipping is expensive, so I try to stick to smaller items. So if I material, the hardest to find locally, pricey to tax is 11%. Hi, Cassie. I live in a very small town and I've been making tutus for years now. It's frustrating that now that same friends don't buy from you, but I have new clients every month. Yeah, you know, it's funny. Um, I My very first um, Etsy order um, was just a tutu, not embroidery or nothing. And I'm going to make a giraffe now. Oh, no, I don't have the... Oh, yes, I do. Never mind. Um, it was just a tutu that they ordered. So this, I've been on Etsy, what, two years? maybe two and a half years and she messaged me to say that she had ordered for me a long time ago and that you know she wanted an, another tutu for me but she didn't want to pay full price because that's not what she paid the first time and I mean obviously when you start um on Etsy you know, your prices are kind of lower to start getting, you know, traffic going or whatnot. And yeah, I mean, she pretty much told me if I could drop down the price. So I didn't reply. I haven't replied to her. And I don't even know. Honestly, I don't even know how to approach her. <laughs> Oh, I can't make that tutu. I don't have enough ribbon. Let's see, can I substitute it? So I think I'm going to substitute one of the ribbons. <laughs> I know I saw in this morning they were talking about the gas prices they went up like a whole dollar just say sorry as the prices of supplies have gone up so has my prices I know like <laughs> oh no and then she said I sent her a coupon and uh, she didn't have the coupon no more I've never offered coupons in my shop Never. I don't know what she's talking about. I'm like, what? I, I've never even gave out coupons. What is she talking about? But apparently I gave her a coupon. And she doesn't have the coupon. And so she wants me to drop down the price. All right, so I'm gonna make that giraffe one now. There's so many themes, a giraffe, safari, ice cream. Where do you get your book fabric from? I live in Kingswood, Texas, and I've looked over Harwin, man, I heard a lot of things about Harwin and I've never been. Actually, we want to go to Harwin because we were dress shopping for the quinceañera, of course. And um, 
everybody said that over there you would I would find everything so they told me we were gonna find her dress over there cheaper my dress over there cheaper that we were gonna find um like all the little extra things like flowers and the crown and all that stuff but I've never been and it's far for me it's like an hour or something The fa so the fabric, I buy fabric from everywhere, honestly, online. I just bought two yards of fabric from Etsy, but this is for the bear that, you know how for quinceañeras, they have to do this father-daughter dance, and it's when the, the dad gives her, like, her last doll that she's going to get because she's not a little girl anymore or whatever. So now it's not dolls anymore. They're doing this thing with bears and the bear has like a big fluffy dress on. So I'm going to make it, I'm going to buy the bear and I'm going to make the dress for the bear. So I'm going to try to match it as much as I can to her dress. So I ordered um, like two yards of fabric from Etsy because I could not find something to resemble her dress and her dress is like a rose gold and it has like a bunch of um like like i don't know what the it looks like glitter but it's not glitter and it's not sequins either but it has a bunch of these little things on her dress and it was so hard trying to find something to kind of replicate what that looks like um so hopefully i make a video of making that of making that bear we're in houston for a cheer competition and i was debating on messaging you on instagram to see what are some good crafting stores cheer competition what do you mean we were in houston oh we were in houston for a cheer competition and i was debating on messaging you on instagram to see what are some good crafting stores there's a, a fabric store in downtown it's called um I was just there. Fabric. Oh, fabric. Oh man, I forgot. It. But it's it's a fabric store. Um. But honestly, I just buy everything off a of Hobby Lobby online. That's probably your best bet. And um, yeah, like I said, I couldn't find a fabric for the dress for the bear. So. I ended up going to Etsy and I paid like twenty dollars for two yards, but I mean it's for a it's a one time thing, you know, special occasion or whatever. So I get in line. Hopefully, I don't mess up the dress. My girls are five and seven, but I need to start saving for their kinses. Girl, you don't even want to know how much money we have fucking already put into this. It's ridiculous. So what's worrying me right now is so we have all the main stuff like we have the hall we have the food we have the dj we have hair and makeup booth we have she has her dress i have my dress i found my dress <laughs> and we have the party bus we have photographer we have i still need shoes i need the crown I need the bear with the dress that I'm going to make. Um, we still need, we don't have chambelan, chambelanes or damas or not, none of that. Like my daughter, like in her school, she has friends, but they're not Hispanic. They're not, um, and not that they have to be Hispanic, but I'm saying that they never had quinces. So to do like the baile sorpresa and all that stuff, like I'm lost right there. And it's not like I can be like, ask your friends what they did for their kinses because they didn't they didn't have kinses. I didn't have one. Like we were four girls. My dad couldn't even afford one, imagine four. So I'm just like lost when it comes to the whole dancing part. Uh, I don't know. And then there's choreographers that you can um, hire but I don't know. I asked for pricing $2,000, $2,000 for five minutes that they're going to dance. I'm like, um, I think we're just going to do <laughs> some 
damn Wapango or something. Into the Cheche slide. <laughs> That's what. I, oh my god. And it's like that. That's the most. Um, that's the thing that I'm stressing over. I don't want there. Like supposedly, when for these things, you have to start practicing like two months in advance. We're like three months left. Three months left. That's all we have, and it's go time. And she. Oh my god! And but right now that she started um, playing with the soccer team, uh, she's been making more friends. And you know, in the soccer, there's more Hispanic girls. So she started talking to some of them, and some of them were like, "Yeah, yeah, like you know, we go to Kinsas all the time." And Kinsas is like, well, it's like the thing, you know, like where you go out when you're um, in high school. But Alexi is my daughter. Like she. Like I said, like all her friends, you know, that she doesn't really have a lot of Hispanic friends. So she never gets invited to Kinsas. Like the only one she's been to is like, you know, in, with my husband's family. So I don't know. I don't I don't know how to come up with a choreography dance or anything like that. And my niece is in competitive dancing, but she's always busy. She's always um at some competition or a practice or so I don't know. Not the cha cha. <laughs> Harvin has a lot a lot of good stuff at a good price, but it's crazy out there with so many people shopping for their businesses. Yeah, there's also a ribbon store that sells um um ribbon and bulb down there but like i said i've never been i'm just i don't mind driving but i don't like driving to places that i've never been because i get nervous youtube they have so many cases we've i've been stalking all the choreographers on instagram and kind of like you know but like Here's the thing, like, who's going to get these kids together? And then that's what I told Alexis, like, don't get your shy ass friends that are going to be like, oh, I don't want to move. I don't want to dance. I don't want to like, you know, it's uh, or that they're going to like be coming to practice or whatever. And then the days are getting closer and then they're going to be like, never mind. I don't want to be in it. And then they're going to leave us hanging. So, I don't know. It's so frustrating right now. And then also, like, I guess she's been stressing over it as well because she's been breaking out a lot. And I took her to the dermatologist the other day. And they want to put her on this medication, which I'm kind of, like, nervous about. It's called Accutane. And from what I read online, it has like bad side effects. And I don't know. I don't know. It's just so much when you have to do these type of things. I don't even know how people do it when they have to get married and have to throw a whole wedding. And this is just a quinceañera. But most of the most of the things are like already done, like are set um like the important stuff the haul and all that stuff i have the cake book too i have one of the subscribers is doing the invitations for me her name is maria thank you so much <laughs> she's making me the invitations um and yeah it's just like the little details that we are missing and the dance No, not acutane. It gets really bad first before it could. That's, that's what the dermatologist told us. And she's been looking at um, 
she was looking at TikToks about Accutane and how. So first, right now, they put her on this medication and see she's gonna take that for a month to see if that does anything. And if it doesn't, then in a month we'll be starting Accutane if it doesn't. And I know that it gets like her skin is supposed to get super dry. And her lips are going to get super chapped. And I don't know. It's just, it sounds scary. But then she sees the outcome, right? Because she's looking at videos and stuff. And then she sees the outcome. And she's like, but the acne went away. Like, and you can't tell in photos because she wears makeup to cover it. But in person, like, you can't tell that she does have, like, you know, a lot of blemishes. And the problem is that. I don't want her to start scarring her face and then that's not gonna go away so that's that's where we at i don't know my daughters are 19 and 20 and mexican too we did switch 16 quinceanera it was so expensive i just finished paying it off i know some people who were in Accutane and they had a super oily faces and stopped the oiliness and now they are have too moisturized. I could say it works, but there are side effects. Honestly, you really don't know to have damas and chambelanes and your quince. She could have a longer father daughter dance. She wants one though. She wants to have the, the dance. But I'm thinking just do girls. Para cuando es la fiesta? Mayo 28. May 28 is the big day. Seven year old would die for a giraffe to two, but she's big for seven, so I'm gonna have to make it for her. Have you guys looked into proactive? We've tried a lot of things. We've, the, um, she's been going to the dermatologist, so they have given her face washes she was on benzoyl peroxide as well she was um and that's the thing like does a lot of sports and she drinks a lot of water and like i don't understand like i think it's just like a hormonal thing you know somebody told me put her on birth control because that will help like the hormones and stuff i don't know i don't know <laughs> so right now the dermatologist is like well let's just do accutane so i don't know but um, I made an appointment with the doctor on Monday. So she, I'm going to have, um, I'm not taking her. I'm just, it's so hard to get a doctor's appointment. So I told them that I was, I wanted them to see her. But really, I'm just going to go talk to them about this medication and see like what she thinks about it. Because I don't want to give it to her. And then it's going to fix one thing, but then cause other problems. You know what I mean? So... I hired a uh, choreographer, but I buy a sorpresa. Yeah, but they're super expensive. I don't need to have 10 to 15 of each. You don't need to have 10 to 15 of each. You know, I saw this uh, TikTok on <laughs> on a quinceañera, and I guess they, they didn't hire no choreographer either. So you know what they did? They did all the stupid TikTok dances. I think they're TikTok dances. I don't know. It was funny. I'm going to go live on a quinceañera day. I'm going to set you guys up on a tripod and then that way you can all come. <laughs> Hire baila bailarines. Um, cobran dos mil dólares por venir a bailar por cinco minutos. Ya estuve preguntando. Uno, el más caro era dos mil, el otro era mil ochocientos, mil setecientos, mil seiscientos. Um, yeah, 
it's a lot it's a lot of money like not even the cake was a thousand dollars jesus christ so i'm thinking we're just gonna have damas and then just um i don't know come up with something <laughs> Look up dancers. They are from the valley, but maybe they know other groups. They also dance groups. And groups. And she does sports and sweats. She doesn't need to wash her face, but no, it's because that's the problem. She plays sports and she doesn't wash her face when she's wearing the makeup. But I mean. Soccer season is almost over. Um, so eleven thirty. <laughs> Ramal Kinsey. That would be cool. Watch me not be able to find my phone at the end of the night. <laughs> But good thing though, like for a lot of um, quinceañeras, like my husband has a big family and a lot of his family has been helping us, my sisters as well. Like, you know how you have like sponsors for, for things. Um, so like for the cake, somebody's buying the cake. My husband's brother paid for her dress. Um, so we pretty much have been taking care of the rest, like the hall and everything that goes in it. Um, But yeah, I just want that day to come and be done with and se acabó, you know? And good thing I only have one girl because, oh my God. We just got hired to do the tables, chairs, and the core for the scene. Oh, come over here. <laughs> That's awesome. I want to do a, a balloon thing, a balloon garland thing. Oh, and then my sister-in-law, she booked, um, she booked her a, it's kind of like a red carpet video thing. Instead of a photo booth, we're going to have like this like red carpet where you walk in, uh, you know, with your dress and stuff. And then they do like the 360 camera like that. It goes around you. Like, I don't know if you guys have seen it in the, like they do it with actors and singers and stuff like that, where they're walking the red carpet. And then they do like a 360 of a camera that goes around and they do it like in slow motion. We're doing that. It's, it looks cool in the on the Facebook.
before you try Accutane, try freeze dried strawberry powder and coconut milk powder blend together. We have tried so many different remedies. And it's like, you know, it comes to a point that like, oh, I don't know how to help her, you know? And I know she gets like self-conscious um, over it and I don't know. So we'll see. They did blood work on her to see if she can take it or not. Um, yeah, I've heard the horror stories over it. I need like somebody that wants to do it for free. <laughs> wants to do the choreography. I'm just kidding. Um, I don't know. I feel like Alexis, if she was to get together with her friends, she could come up with I don't know, something, you know? Like the dances, it is not even like long. It's supposed to be like less than five minutes that they have to dance. Like, come on. They they can come up with something something that's not gonna cost me two thousand dollars. And then I still have to like dress the kids and feed the kids and you know. And then she wants to wear this outfit where I don't know if you guys have seen um from Kinsas when they do the surprise dance. They're like little shorts and they're like glammed out like glitter and, and beat it out well there's different ones and it looks like a dance competition outfit so i want to do that for her too and it has like their shorts and then it has like a little skirt on the sides not all the way closed like it's just open from over here and then it's the shorts and then it's like the little crop top and then it, it's kind of like a turtleneck or however you want it but that's like what i've been seeing that is trending now with the quinces and I told her, I'm like, I could totally make you that. So, again, we got to go look for fabric. Oh, the parents buy their suits? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm telling you, like, I didn't have one. My sisters they didn't have one, and I didn't, I don't, I don't have family here, so. I wouldn't know. My husband's, oh no, he already read that. But I went away by itself when I turned 19. See, but we're trying to clear her face before the king sent. Well, I'm going to call the dermatologist again and be like, if it's, if, if it's going to get worse before it gets better, then we're not going to do it. And I'm not going to do um, the Accutane. She wants to though, because she knows that in the end it'll clear it. Can you guys hear me?
Can you guys hear me? <laughs> oh, okay. So I think this is gonna be the last two I'm making and then I have to start cooking. So the kids can have something to eat when they come home. Is she turning one? Does Liam eat what you cook? Hell no, he does not. He, I have the, I struggle with him a lot. He does not eat whatever I make. He eats, like I have to, there's certain things that I know he likes, like all three of them love enchiladas. So that's one thing that I can count, that I can make that, you know, I know that they're gonna eat. Um, and I make them out of chicken, so I know that they're getting at least protein. And then they like, um, spaghetti, of course, what kid doesn't like spaghetti? Uh, chicken alfredo. Um, but anything else, like things that me and my husband like, they, he, he's, he's very picky. What are the things that he like? Mmm. Just don't let them talk you into joining Mary Kay. What? Isn't that like makeup stuff? You have to read my other comments. Oh. Okay, I'm almost done. Your sound is good. My kids are hella loud, but I can hear you barely. I sound low, like. Yes. Oh man. I'm almost done though. This is the last tutu I'm making and then I have to get to cooking and I get nervous on having my phone to, to not disturb because what if they call me from school or something, you know? Oh, sound is fine. What color is that? Peach? No, this is gold. It's gold. 
The tour? The tour is gold. It's so cute, right? <laughs> Hey, Joni, you're late. I'm already about to get off. Thank you, Liz. What, oh, what color is that? I just got me. All right, so here's the last two two. I was hoping I could I could have done more, but um, with reading comments and such, you know. Um, so we only did three. I mean four. So it's one, two, three, and then four. So I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm hungry and I gotta start cooking. And the post office closes at five. So I'm gonna try and see how many more I can finish. And then, um, okay, so I'll see you. I recorded a video. I just have to edit it and then upload it. And that's it. Aw. <laughs> Yes, Joni, whenever you want to come, you have a chair here. Bye, guys.